Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you all look good. Today is going to be a spring essentials video, so it is building blocks for your spring wardrobe. I've been starting to put mine together over the last few months. I must admit I've been a little bit later this year. I don't know whether it's been the weather or because I've been house renovating, but a lot of these pieces are kind of new in. And I've just decided over literally the last few days the pieces that I'm going to keep and are hopefully going to build that kind of capsule wardrobe for the spring season. And I did do one of these last year, so I've tried to change it up a little. So if you feel like there are things missing, then I might have put it in that video, which I will also link below. And just one little disclaimer, I've just had my permanent braces put on and I am really struggling to talk with them, especially my S's, so bear with me. First up is a real basic and that is a V-neck t-shirt. I must have a million of these in all different colours, but I particularly like a white or off-white one in the summer months. This one, as you can see, I've gone for a little bit more of a cream. And I made that choice because I feel like there are so many jeans out there which are a little bit more on the cream side at the moment. I definitely have quite a few of them. And I wanted something that was going to match with that perfectly. So I picked up this one. I got it in a size 10. And what I love about it is that it's 100% organic cotton. It is so soft. It's going to be really breathable. And it's just that perfect basic. Next up is a pretty romantic kind of top or blouse. This one that I have on is one that I really wanted to show you guys because you will know that I absolutely love that kind of eyelet embroidered top. I actually got a dress very similar to this last year which was almost the same from ASOS and absolutely adored it, wore it time and time again. And as soon as I saw this one come on, I thought, that is mine. I need that in my basket and I bought it straight away. I'm so glad that I did because I've been wearing it so much and it's exactly the same as that dress. And then it just fits perfectly. There's something about it. All of the buttons fit really nicely down the front and I love that they're in the mother of pearl and just the sleeve detail and how it has a little frill on it. Really beautiful top that though it has a little bit of detail and it has a very much design element also because it's white it's still a basic. It'll fit under jackets and coats if it's still a bit colder but you can also wear it on its own. And then another top that I wanted to show you was this one. This was a new addition to my wardrobe and I fell for it for the colours. That vibrant pop of blue against that pink. Again, it's so my colour tone. It's just really, really pretty, kind of delicate. Again, you can dress this one up and dress it down. You'll be able to wear it with jeans, but this one would also be perfect with a lovely skirt. I picked this one up in a size 8 because it was a bit more of that boxy fit. I loved it so much that I'm actually thinking of going back for a dress in the same design. Now next up, this is an item that I am loving at the moment and that is the jumpsuit. And I'm loving it so much that I've actually chosen three to show you here but they're all quite different so I absolutely fell for these cute dungarees. I just thought that they were lovely for a warmer day, perhaps with that t-shirt underneath. Just really chilled and easy out in the garden, uh, going to the park, having a barbecue, that kind of thing. So this one is quite oversized and definitely for the more casual look. Although it looks denim, it's not. It's more of a cotton material and it has this gorgeous pinstripe right running through it. I love that it's dungarees, but it's actually a lot more feminine than a lot of the dungarees that I see out and about. And I just knew that I'd love wearing this one, especially as we're renovating at the moment. We now have a garden. I can imagine myself out in the garden doing a little bit, pottering around in these. And though realistically, I like them far too much to be wearing them in the garden. <laughs> Next is one that you've all seen, one that I picked up recently from Suzanne. I have worn this one so much already. I think I got it, yeah, about a month ago because I picked it up for my birthday. And I've already probably got price for wear for it. It's easy to sling on. I've already worn it with my wedges and also my trainers, so very different looks. And I just know that it's going to be such a classic that it will sit in my wardrobe for probably 10 years. And lastly, quite similarly to my Suzanne one, but at a much better price point, is this one. I love the khaki safari feel to it, something that's really in this season. And what I always also liked is that I thought that I could really dress this one up and dress it down again. It would look so gorgeous with a pair of heels, some statement earrings, that kind of glistening gold jewelry in the summer, but also it's so easy to chuck on with some trainers and just run out of the door and wear it really day to day or at the weekend. You could even wear this one to work. Moving on to dresses now, and again, I may have picked out three, but I like to cover all bases with my dresses, all weather types. So the first one is more for that summer day. We have those days, everybody has them. I think it gets warm and we all panic and we're looking at our wardrobe and we're thinking, I have absolutely nothing to wear. You're not quite ready, you haven't tanned, you don't wanna wear something too short, you don't wanna get your shoulders out. 
So I picked up this one and I do absolutely love it. It's really soft, it's really flowy, it's so super chill to put on so you don't feel, I always feel like in spring where I'm, I'm wearing more summer dresses or summer outfits because it's that kind of temperature. I still don't feel quite ready for it. Maybe it's because I don't quite have my tan, but I like to have something that is quite long in length, but also really cool and really airy. This one is so beautiful on. It's just the prettiest, most effortless dress. It's got these gorgeous sleeves which are open and they tie with a bow on the side. A really gorgeous kind of scooped V-neck. And then it comes in at the waist and it's double lined at the bottom. So again, you're not gonna be seeing any pants. You don't have to worry. You haven't quite shaved your legs because it's still pretty long. It's got another frill just at the bottom there. It's, I can't explain it, but it's one of those dresses that just makes me feel so confident. And that is exactly what I want in spring for more of a summer dress. Then this next one, I would call more of my mid kind of temperature dress. So it's got a long sleeve, which is always nice. You're covering up slightly. And again, it's still quite long in length, but not quite as long, more of a midi length. And this one's so beautiful. It's just got, again, that really flowy, pretty feel to it. Feel really confident. I can wear this one with trainers though, as well as wedges. So again, you can dress it up, dress it down. Recently wore it to dinner. I think I took some photos, which I will also pop up as well as a cutout of me trying it on. But this is the dress where I don't quite want to put on a jacket. I want to feel really confident in what I've got on, but semi covered up because it's a little bit cooler. Oh gosh, I just realized that I actually have four dresses, not three. Going quite over the top of the dresses, but I find that comes spring with the thing that I'm wanting to put on all of the time. Kind of getting out of that bad weather and I can finally start wearing dresses again. So my next one, again, is very similar, but it is striped. This one is new for me and I picked it up, it's actually in the sale at the moment, so I'll definitely make sure to link it below, and I picked this one up in the size small. It's from the brand Faithfully, the brand, and I absolutely love their stuff. It's long sleeved, again, it's got a tie in the middle, and it's long at the bottom. You can make this one so warm by flinging a jacket over it. You can still wear this one with some really cute kind of light colored boots, or even maybe some more cowboy style boots, and it's just a piece that you can wear when it's a little bit colder, but you are sick of the winter and jumpers and wanna get into something a little bit more girly and feminine. And then another new one, which I forgot about and just had to include, is this one from Whistles. Now, I tend to find that each season, Whistles has something that I want to buy. Last spring, it was a jumpsuit. This spring, I saw this. Now, I'm a stripes kind of girl. I said this in my last spring video. I just absolutely love them, and I thought that this dress fitted so beautifully on. I actually tried this one on in store. And it reminded me so much of the jumpsuit in that I wore the jumpsuit for nearly every occasion. I felt like I was picking it out. I was wearing it to meetings. I was wearing it to meet friends and have a drink. I was wearing it casually. I love those pieces in the wardrobe that they may be that little bit more expensive, but you can wear them for anything. Dress them up, dress them down, have them as your total go-to. And that is why I picked this one out. I could see myself wearing it with a straw bag, really casually, with some wedges, with some trainers and more of a denim jacket but also making it a little bit more formal for kind of meetings or going to work. So yeah, really, really beautiful dress. I picked this one up in a size eight and it's just so beautifully tailored. The blazer. Now this is an item that I only really got into last year and I remember telling you guys how much I was enjoying wearing it. Now last season I picked up a lot of light blazers and this season I picked up darker toned and I went for navy in both. Probably should have picked up different but I just so happened to find two that I loved in navy. I think you guys have seen both of these. So first off, this pinstripe one from H&M. I absolutely love this one. It's just, it's so comfortable, it's so soft, it's got that gorgeous oversized feeling. I love the gold buttons, they kind of dress it up a little bit. This one is my go-to for when I'm wearing, again, kind of this t-shirt and just jeans underneath. Really simple, really easy, but you look put together. Great for a miserable day when you're not wanting to wear anything too feminine or light and just simple to pull out of your wardrobe. And then this one has pretty much the same principle and I wear it in the same way, but actually it's just that little bit warmer. It's in a much thicker material and it's more of a coat jacket, which is perfect for spring when the weather is so unpredictable, you're not sure if it's gonna be hot or cold. And if you're anything like me, you have a hot day and you start wearing out your spring clothes and then when it's warm the next day, you're like, huh? No, I don't wanna go back to my coat. So this is the perfect alternative. And again, looks so smart and so chic on when you're wearing something just 
really simple and quite plain. Now I don't think any spring wardrobe would be complete without one of these and it is the MAC. We all know how classic it is on, it can really dress up an outfit though I do find it a little bit harder to know what to pair it with. I tend to pair it with jeans and though it goes beautifully with skirts and dresses too, I prefer it with jeans, I think it just makes it that little bit younger and less formal and work-like. Especially when you have one like this one here. So this one is from Hobbs and it definitely does give that more tailored, smart look. It's not oversized, but it fits really nicely on and it's just so classic. It's in a gorgeous color. It's like this beautiful clay color. There's just something about it that's really beautiful for the skin tone. It's got these lovely dark buttons. And again, it's an item that I've had probably for about a month now and I've worn time and time again. And I also love it because I fling it on and it makes me feel so put together like I've really thought about my outfit but I kind of haven't. Jeans, jeans, jeans. The ones which I struggle with probably the most finding a good pair of jeans. So the ones that I want to talk about first I actually have on and I was so happy when I found these and I think a few of you guys will be too. Can't remember which video I talked about these jeans in but I found a pair from Stradivarius which were just so beautifully comfortable, they fitted amazingly, felt like I was wearing just kind of loungewear, they were so comfortable. And I actually went to their store not long after picking out that pair because I loved them so much and I couldn't find any the same, they just, they weren't as comfortable, uh, they didn't fit quite as right. So I went back on, I bought those originally from ASOS and they didn't have any new ones on there and it was kind of item that I kept searching for and finally this spring they had a new pair in and after that long ramble this is them, they're exactly the same, fit as beautifully as the other ones, so comfortable I want to wear them all day every day and I know so many of you love them too, I think these got my most DMs ever saying oh my gosh I love them, thank you so much, they are so comfortable. So these are a little bit more light washed for the spring, they've also got a little bit more distressing on them which I really like, pairing with a little bit more of a feminine top, they've got a distressed edge to the bottom of them as well, but I'm just so in love with them, if you can't already tell, really comfortable and it's not every day that you find a pair of jeans that you love this much. Staying with jeans, I was also on the lookout for a really light wash pair. I didn't have any of this colour in my wardrobe and I was really searching for one that looked quite right. I think these are showing up a little bit brighter than they are on camera. They've just got that really nice beachy vibe, really kind of sun-kissed and easy, perfect with a top like this that is white and embroidered. I don't remember what size I picked these up in, I'll have to leave it down below. Oh, 29 I picked these up in and they're just gorgeous they fit really nicely on again they're really really soft and stretchy I can just see myself pulling for these in the wardrobe all of the time over summer because they don't feel too heavy material wise either again you have the frayed bottom and I'm just super happy that I finally found a pair to add to my wardrobe okay and my last spring essential clothing item would have to be the light trouser now I picked two because I feel like they sit in very different categories. And the first one is the white denim trouser. Now I was talking earlier about the creamy color that goes with this kind of top, and this is exactly what I mean. I'm seeing so many jeans in this kind of off white color, and I absolutely love them. You guys will have seen these in a recent haul from And Other Stories. Again, I've been pulling for these and wearing them all of the time. Really comfortably, sit on the waist beautifully. I love the tie band. And also I thought that I would have to take these up, but the length of them isn't as bad as I thought it was in that video. So I haven't done it yet, I'm going to sit on it and really think about if I want to because I don't want to be taking them up and then down again. Just too much effort. <laughs> but nonetheless, these have been absolutely perfect for my wardrobe so far. And then another pair which I've been wearing a lot are these chinos. Now I probably went off chinos, I'd say about five or so years ago, I feel like they were in the fashion and then they kind of died down. And I don't think they have come back in fashion, but I've been really loving this pair. I think it's because they fit so nicely and they don't necessarily look like a chino and I love the colour, it's this dusky light pink, they just fit really beautifully, again they are so comfortable, so comfortable that I just wear these actually when I'm at home working on the computer or just chilling around the house but I want to be a little bit put together and feel good about myself. So for light trousers, these are both still really comfortable, really easy to wear and also quite flattering. Now then, for bags. You guys know, I love a straw bag, I'm so into them. I have quite a few, like I think I have a little bit of an addiction to straw bags. It's partly because they're such a good price range, I feel like it comes to the summer, they're between that like 10 and 15 pounds, 
and I feel like I need them all. And this one was no exception. I really love this one because I felt like, especially now that we're back in the country a little bit, I could imagine myself very idyllic here, but just walking into town, picking up some flowers, some fruit and veg, popping it in my basket and you know off I am really simple really easy but also you can wear it much more of a fashion item I think it's so good now for a reusable bag I can put a lot of stuff in here basically I can fit my laptop an umbrella my purse some sunglasses some food some snacks it literally is endless it's like a Mary Poppins bag but also because the bag itself is so lightweight you can put a lot in there and it feels like there's nothing in there my last category is shoes. I tried to stay away when I picked from last year, but they have to be probably my most worn spring shoes still, which is my Castano wedges and my Supergood trainers, which I will also link below. You guys saw those last year, so I wanted to pick up something a little bit different. And my first pair of these sliders, I've been wanting a pair of sliders for quite a while, but I couldn't find any that were comfortable and also still supported my foot quite a bit. So I picked up this pair, they're such a reasonable price that I thought I can try them, if I really don't like them then I haven't invested in a pair, but I absolutely love them, they're really comfortable and more comfortable than I thought they would be, but I think these especially do come down quite far and they also support around the edge a little bit too, they're really comfortable on, especially for the price, and I love the design, the elongated pointed toe is just really flattering and the neutral colour goes with absolutely everything. And the other pair of shoes that I've been wearing a lot this spring are these brogues. And they're probably the most feminine, kind of pretty brogues, which are also still classic. And I think you'll be able to keep and maintain for years that I've seen in a very long time. I sometimes struggle with brogues because they look a little bit masculine or they're kind of like quite impractical and not classic. And I don't see them fitting in my wardrobe. But these really do. The only one thing that I will say with these is I would go down a size. So I feel like these are a little bit large. I'm going to have to get an insole in them because as I've been wearing them, I think they've kind of moulded to my feet that little bit more. But again, these are such lovely quality for the price. That seemed to go so quickly. But that is everything from my spring essentials wardrobe, the things which I've been wearing for a little while now and some new bits which I picked up. But I feel like I finally got that essentials wardrobe feel. I've got everything to cover me for spring and moving on into the early parts of the summer as well. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it. Please do make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you are new. I would absolutely love to see you around for my next videos. Let me know if you'd like to see any styling videos from these pieces or any other spring kind of content that you'd like. I upload a video every Friday and we are renovating this mad place at the moment. So any suggestions would be really appreciated. I hope that you are all good and I will see you all soon. Bye.